All right. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Jessica? Good. Thank you so much for joining me. My pleasure. And so I caught your video on Faceplant. Um, mm -hmm. Stories. I caught your Faceplant video. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I saw your story. You talked a lot about, you know, bouncing back from the bad, you know, and then going to recovery. What drew you to become part of this project? You know, uh, a good friend of mine uh, was involved with it. Uh, someone I had actually known back during the uh, the DreamWorks days. So we had kind of taken part of that whole ride together. So when he suggested it, I thought, oh, you know, that's kind of a it's kind of a great idea because it's true. I mean, it all it all happened, and it was a it was obviously a big part of my life. You know, it was a big turnaround. So it felt like. Uh, the subject was important enough to me that I felt like it was something that I should I should participate in and share. I I really did like your quote where you said you are more than that more than that failure and you are more than that project. Mm -hmm. Just wondering, you know, you talked a lot about you know being in your twenties and doing the drawing boards. You moved on to that. Do you think that you would have told yourself that back in the day, and listened to yourself? <laughs> I think back in the day, if I had told myself that something like that would happen to me, I don't, God, I, I probably wouldn't have believed it. I, I think I had enough ego back then where I was like, yeah, maybe somebody else, but you know, that's never, I'm never going to have to worry about that. And yeah. it's, it's true. You know, it, it's, it's one of the good things about being young that you're not, you know, you're not, hopefully you're not sitting around worrying about the bad things that might happen because you're just pushing to try to make the good things happen. And you have all that energy and enthusiasm, but it's it's. I think it's a really important thing to understand when you are young because you're you're building up your whole sense of your identity, you know. And if if you run into something that tells you that identity is not good enough, it's a problem. So you have to understand that there's a difference between who you are inside and you know what you might do in a job or a you know, it's, it's, it seems like that's all of what you are, but it's not really. And then as you grow older, you kind of grow a little bit more, a couple of shells over yourself. And then that experience really builds you up to who you end up being. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. You're always changing. Yeah. So there was a quote in there in the trailer where she spoke, you realize you can go through it or grow through it. I was just wondering. Mm -hmm. Were you able to catch any of the other stories on Faceplan? And if so, which one did you find that you maybe related to or maybe you found the most inspiring? You know, I actually haven't been able, unfortunately, to see any of the others. I've seen tiny snippets of, uh, of, of a bunch of them, but I haven't been able to watch uh, uh, to watch all the way through. But that sounds like a great quote. I wish I had thought of that one. I heard it and I, I just quickly wrote it down and said that's put yeah. in perfect wording. Exactly. Yeah. To hear. That's fantastic. Yeah. So um, I was just also wondering, mm -hmm. moving to your storyboarding uh, in your career, which one do you think gave you the most trouble as far as when you were putting everything together or which one was the most fun and memorable storyboard? Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the most trouble, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there were some that, you know, some jobs I didn't enjoy, but, you know, job's a job kind of thing sometimes. Um, but as far as the, the ones I enjoyed the most, man, you know, a, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of working on movies is the people that you get to work with, whether they're, you know, and it's not always like the famous people by any means. Most of the time, it's the people who you're, you know, like it would be other storyboard artists or like production designers or people that I'm, working directly with, you know, day in, day out. And it's, it can be a really enjoyable process. Um, I know one movie that I, I, I got, uh, you know, I got, I, I had a really good time and got a lot out of working uh, early in my career with John Singleton, who directed Boys in the Hood and, and uh, uh, okay. this. Uh, we worked on, uh, I worked on Boys in the Hood. And I, I actually, I think I worked on his first, like maybe four movies. And and that was a special time and a, a special special uh, group of movies to to be working on. So uh, I really got a lot out of that. And I also got to work with uh, Francis Ford Coppola on his uh, on Bram Stoker's Dracula, and he had been an idol of mine for a long time. So getting to work with him uh, was something that I you know I never thought would happen in my life, 
and I learned I learned so much, and it just so happened that he was uh, a really a uh, really great guy to me. You know, I learned so much, and uh, it was an incredible experience. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, I was kind of wondering. I wanted to kind of slide into here because you know my fourteen year old, he's a huge Spider Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, he's he just wanted to know mm -hmm. is. You know, is there another one coming, you know? Is there Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think he'll be very happy with the plans for the new one. I also just wanted to thank you for creating a character that he himself felt like he was more so like. He felt a lot mm. connected to this Spider-Man. You know, not just because of his age, but because he's like, Oh my god, he looks like me, you know. Yeah. Do these things too. And, you know, it was just it was just thank you. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm I'm so glad that it means something to him. All of us working on the movie were uh, that that's kind of our that was kind of our greatest hope that we would make some people feel like that and and uh, and take Miles to their heart that way. So it's great to hear. Please, thank you. Give him a hug from me. <laughs> well, he'll be like, oh my god. <laughs> and I also just wanted to ask one more question. Um, what was it like? back when you were in your 20s working, you know, on films, in animation, and what is the difference, if there is a big one, between back then and now in this industry for you? Hmm. You know, I mean, for me personally, uh, the, 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 the difference is just the job title. I mean, I, I still have a lot of the same, you know, anxieties and worries. Is this working? Am I, is this communicating right? Am I getting this right? Am I getting this right? That's, that's like the, the thought that I have, like probably the most during any one day. Is this right? Am I getting this right? Am I getting this right? Um, you know, I, I've, in a lot of ways, not too much has changed for a, for a person doing what I did in the industry. I, I think it's probably pretty much the same. It's kind of the weird thing about uh, that whole you know, the, the job of storyboarding really is just a way of visualizing what happens in a movie before anybody else does, you know, and you can do that with a pencil and a piece of paper, you know, that's all you really need. Uh, you know, yeah, we do it all digitally and on, on computers now, but, but the thinking process, it's all just the basics of filmmaking and it's how do you communicate clearly the ideas that you and the director come up with so that other people understand how the movie is going to feel and look. So the basics of it have not changed at all. And I think, you know, a 26 year old guy doing storyboards, guy or girl or, or whoever doing storyboards now is probably exactly the same as I was when I was that age doing it. So yeah, it was now, I, to now I get to boss them around there. So that, that's, that's the only difference. Oh, see, then there you go. <laughs> that's how it's different. <laughs> Because I was curious to see, I know with technology, everything kind of moved forward. And I just wondered, I, you know, as far as where you were in it, yeah, you know, if it would be the same, different. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with me, yeah. Back then, it was like Xerox machines and, you know, <laughs> cut and paste. So it was like the prehistoric days. So that, that's a little that's a little easier and cleaner now. Xerox machines. Wow. <laughs> yeah, for real. For real. Well, that's all the questions I have. Thank you so much for joining me. It's my pleasure, Jessica. Thanks so much.